Hello, my name is Fia and I'm an aspiring voice actor slash singer slash yes I do like the sound of my own voice, so I thought that I'd read a bit of the first chapters of my favorite Rise of the Team and T fanfics while I draw fan art of the Rise Again AU by Speedy Blooper. Enjoy! Typically, Leo's insomnia wanes after a battle. It's one of his favorite things about them, the fact that once all the adrenaline drains from him, he can collapse into his bed and fall asleep instantly. But that did not happen this time. It's nearly four in the morning and Leo is still lying on his bed, pillow squeezed to his chest. The fight was fine. It had been a mystic user, so Donnie was already huffy from the moment they got the call, but the actual fight wasn't bad. They had mostly just been thrown around by the yokai's admittedly impressive telekinetic powers. There had been one actually frightening moment during the fight. A bolt of pink light had been thrown at Leo's chest, a high-pitched cackle coming from their opponent. Leo curled into himself, sure he was about to be blasted into oblivion, but nothing happened. Leo had patted himself over, making sure he was intact. Ha! He remembers yelling. This guy has done magic! It had been quick after that. He is now sitting in whatever equivalent to jail they have in the hidden city. Leo rolls over. There is no point in trying to get any sleep. Not when it's almost morning anyway. He pads out of his room. The urge to check on his brothers outweighing the urge to stay other under the covers. He checks on Mikey first, the youngest of them, and sees him curled up in his bed, his switch right beside him, likely fallen out of his hands when he fell asleep playing Stardew Valley again. Leo rolls his eyes and smiles, stepping forward to plug his brother's switch back in and set it on his bedside table. He lets his fingers brush over his brother's head, a reassurance that he's safe, before he steps silently out of the room, gently shutting the door behind him. Raph is the next one he checks on. The eldest is asleep too, a stuffed animal squished to his chest. Leo tiptoes closer, pulling his brother's blankets up where they had slipped off, the, off his shoulders. Raph snuggles his face deeper into his pillow. Leo yawns, longing to crawl into the oversized bed like he had done when he was small, but he already knows that, despite his exhaustion, he won't be able to sleep. Leo checks on Donnie next, who is actually asleep and not tinkering, tinkering away like he often is at this time of night. Sure, he's asleep at his desk, but a win is a win. Leo's Still isn't going to let that slide, though, instead of hoisting, hoisting his brother out of his chair and dumping him on, into his bed. Leo throws a blanket on top of him, smirking at the fact that Donnie had remained dead asleep throughout the whole, whole ordeal. Wish that were me, Leo whispers to himself as he ducks out of the room. He checks on his dad next, wrapped in his blankets, his snores shifting the whiskers that stick up, out from the red fabric. The TV lights up the room, a quiet infomercial for some sort of portable grill on this screen. Upon seeing all his family safe and asleep, he moves to the kitchen to get a start on breakfast. Mikey may be the cook of the family, but Leo isn't useless in the kitchen. He decides on omelets, glancing at the clock reading 5.15am. It'll be a little early up for the others, but Raph and Dad both get up at 7, so he might want to wait so everybody can have something warm. The restlessness in his bones urges him to do something but he's far too tired to do anything strenuous, so he settles on comics. They're hard to read with his bleary eyes, so he ends up just laying his head down on top of them and resting his eyes. He's so, so tired. Why can't he sleep? He lays still until 6.30, squinting at blurry numbers on the clock. He heaves out of breath and lurches to his feet. He'd better get started on those omelets. He'll have to remember to do a plain one for Donnie. He can't stand having chunks of anything in his food. It's nice to be able to stand in one spot and not really think. Omelets are easy and he's able to act mostly on autopilot. By the time Raph sleepily walks into the kitchen, the, his food is plated and sitting on the counter. The snapper blinks in surprise before his face breaks out into a wide smile. What's the occasion? He asks, grabbing a fork from the silverware drawer. Leo shrugs. No occasion. I couldn't sleep last night and was too restless to stay in bed any longer. Raph gives him a sympathetic grimace around his mouthful of egg and red pepper. I thought you usually sleep like a baby after missions, Raph says, tilting his head. His brows furrowed a little. Leo shrugs again. He's been doing a lot of that this morning. I thought so too. I guess all that magic stuff got me more keyed up than I realized. Raph hums, nodded, nodding. We'll take it easy today, he assures him. I think we've earned it. Hell yeah, we did, Leo croons, holding out his free hand for this bump. We kicked that wizard ASS. I know what that spells. I'm older than you. You don't have to spell out cuss words. Raph grumbles, but returns the fist bump anyway. 